Now this is where things get interesting. Now some of you may know over the last five years I've been searching for the best product to try to build a fast, heavy, cheap, virtually indestructible wing. I wanted a moulded aircraft with the perfect airfoil, with the perfect building method, but you'd be able to bash it round like a foamy. Those of you who might know and follow my threads on building the polycarbonate warhead where it all started, um, I've experimented over the last four or five years with many, many different building techniques, with many, many different core materials, spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars and thousands of hours on the internet and chasing all over the countryside and the world for different products, looking at companies that are the leaders in composite fields on how they, how they use things and do things to make better and stronger composites. And finally, today, it has finally come to an end and I have cracked it. Finally, I've got a product which this is what it is. As you just saw, it's a normal cup. Um, that weighs about 80 grams. Um, here's a piece of it that's been broken. I don't know whether you can see that. It's slightly porous. It's very dense and very, very lightweight. Uh, I'm not going to disclose exactly what it is yet, but maybe some of you will guess over time. But uh, I've been searching for many years to find the right product, and I have found it. I'll just give you a little bit of a demonstration at first of what the core material is like. You can obviously see the hammer hits on it already. I'll just give it a few more cracks for you. Sorry, it's a bit hard to hold and shoot at the same time. Oh, finally broke a bit off it. There you go. So it takes a fair bit of punishment, but you can see it's quite nice and tight and very, very hard. So now I've finally perfected the technique after failures and bits and pieces with the right amount of, of uh, the Timbuk method inside. I've come out with this perfect little Warhead 30 wing. Uh, the weight of that, which is now with one layer of six ounce carbon top and bottom, nothing else there is no spars in it there is no carbon toe there is no nothing it is only the core material and two bits of six ounce uh, it weighs 180 grams which is to me pretty light for for, for the strength it is demonstration on strength uh, straight into the concrete to start with I guess like that so that's um not bad, but I'll see if I can, where's the damage, can you see the damage, oh there you are, you got a little tiny, tiny, just there, it's just frayed on the end there, tiny bit, let's see how it goes on timber, there you go, there you go, hacking away at the timber, it's an old hardwood timber chair, so it hacks that up alright, and we check out the damage on that. There we go. Where is it? Sorry. <laughs> Trying to line it up. A bit more damage there. I hit both sides of the wing. And you can see just there, a little bit of damage there. So as you can see, I've belted the crap out of that. And my wing has not broken, hasn't cracked. It's got full, full strength. I can probably put it in between a couple of things if you like and try to give it a good... Let's, let's do this, eh? Let's put it in here. Sorry about the bad footage, but we'll give it a crack. There you go. That's my fucking leg on it. That's not all my weight, but... There you go. So there you go. That's it. That's what it comes out like. You can bash them, crash them, hit them, <laughs> and we should be pretty sweet. Finally got the right materials and the right stuff to build a hollow moulded plane which is light, fast, and relatively cheap. And I think there's not many planes that I could do that to, what I just did, that would withstand that type of punishment. So. Hopefully all you guys will bear with me and uh, 
watch the progress of this beautiful beast here, the Warhead 60. And we should be able to have a fast, heavy, maybe not so heavy, but uh, a good aircraft that we can gonna fly fast, we can bash and crash, and end up having a wing that you can uh, do whatever you want with, and you will not destroy it. Too badly, anyway. Anyway, sorry for rambling on, but it's been a very long four or five years to get to where I am now, and to pull that out of the mold this morning was a pretty good day for me, so cool. Keep watching.